proof by contradiction. Rather than always prove things directly, sometimes we employ proof by contradiction. That means we take the hypothesis, hypothesis and suppose the exact opposite of the conclusion is true. If we can somehow combine these things, the hypothesis and the opposite of the conclusion, and result in something impossible, then something has gone wrong. And if we haven't made any mistakes, the thing that went wrong was when we supposed the opposite of the conclusion. Our only recourse? The conclusion must have been correct after all. This is thus a backward way to prove the original statement. And because I'm a very contrary type person, this is my favorite kind of proof. Let's do an example. This is a lemma that we're going to use later on. It's not terribly exciting, but it will be very, very useful. If a squared is an even number, then a is an even number. Well, proof by contradiction. What does that mean? Let's suppose that we have an, an, an integer a. We have the hypothesis, a squared is even, and now we want to suppose the opposite of what we are trying to prove. Rather than try to say, say that a is even, we're going to suppose that a is odd. If we can somehow combine a squared is even and a is odd into something impossible, then it will prove that a can't be odd, and so it has to be even, and therefore we have proven what we have set out to show. Okay, if now so we're supposing that a squared is even, but a is odd. Well, if a is odd, then a is 2 times some integer plus 1. And a squared will be that thing squared. What does it mean to square something? It means to multiply it by itself. And to multiply this out, you have to multiply each thing by each other thing. 2k times 2k is 4k squared. 2k times 1 is 2k. 1 times 2k is 2k. And 1 times 1 is 1. Bang we get 4k squared plus 2k plus 2k plus 1. Now, this, the first three, we could factor a 2 out from each of those. 2 times k squared plus k plus k plus 1, and that is 2 times an integer plus 1. If it's 2 times an integer plus 1, it's odd, and therefore a squared is an odd number. But wait a second, we were supposing that a squared was an even number. That directly contradicts our hypothesis. So we have a problem. We have a problem. If we suppose that a squared is even and a is odd, we have a problem. What? Since supposing that a was odd led to problems, it must be that a is even. And in this manner, we have proven what we set out to prove, that if a squared is even, then a has to be an even number. Because if a is odd, that will lead to problems.